answer to the question, was it a video or an award, was both. Both, that's right. Because there was the video, both. and now we get to deliver the fourth and final award of the day, the Trailblazer Award, which recognizes an individual who is currently opening up new pathways for people to be supported in their recovery, someone who thinks outside the box and charts a course and inspires others to follow. Much is changing in North Dakota regarding our state's approach to addiction and recovery. And in our communities, leaders are driving change across our state. Please join us as we have for our other award winners uh, to welcome an individual to come up on stage who's got direct experience with this trailblazer and how they're driving positive change, change for their community. So to help us uh, present the award, please welcome Debbie Swanson. I'm pleased to be here today to recognize an outstanding advocate for the reinvention of recovery. The individual honored with this award is an emerging leader and a rising star in the field of addiction. Described by peers as a champion who provides support to organizations seeking to enhance their services and in some cases start new ones, this individual goes the extra mile to share information and best practices. Known as persistent and willing to help at every turn, they have helped to establish medication-assisted treatment programs for opioid use disorder where they did not exist before in our region. Ensuring that everyone is working towards the same goal describes the value the recipient of this award is attempting to achieve. Ending the stigma of addiction and valuing the contributions of people with lived experience informs their work building peer support models throughout the communities, an important element to sustaining recovery has been a tireless element to their work. Making treatment available to all residents through creative programming is tantamount to success and a goal that this individual cares about deeply. In the words of one nominator, I can't say enough about his commitment to address the opioid epidemic in our communities across North Dakota his empathy for individuals and communities affected by the opioid em epidemic is truly inspiring. It is my honor to work alongside the Trailblazer awardee winner, empowering our citizens with the tools and knowledge for success. Please join me in recognizing the recipient of the Trailblazer Award, Opioid Response Coordinator at Grand Forks Public Health, Michael Dulitz. They're very good at keeping a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank so many of the people in the state that have made all of the efforts around the state possible. Um, none, of the, none of the work that I've been doing in Grand Forks would not have been possible without the hard work of the legislature to make policy that has enabled us to innovate and make new programs. Um, we've been, we would have still been on the ground floor had we not had the, um, the opioid SOR grant and the STR grant and all of the help from the uh, Behavioral Health Division on getting those grants to the local communities. Um, without the, the work of the um, Office of Recovery Reinvented and the governor to make addiction a priority in our community. And most importantly, uh, without all of our partners in Grand Forks who have wholeheartedly embraced me every time I come up to them and say, I have an idea, will you hear me out? <laughs> so I just want to thank everybody for um, 
for all that they've done to make, make this possible. Uh, the mayor's office in Grand Forks, the call to action, uh, Pete Haga, um, my wonderful boss, Debbie Swanson. Um, I, I hope we can uh, share the work that we're doing in Grand Forks with everybody in the state.